Greetings Portal Masters, it's Lou here. I'm at Activision, I'm in our Skylanders HQ, and today we're doing something very, very special for our level playthrough. So special, in fact, that I decided to wear this sweet, adventurous shirt. Now you may be asking yourself, why would Lou be wearing such a sweet, adventurous shirt? Well, it's because we're going on an adventure somewhere outside of the normal area of Skylands. We're going to check out a little bit of the Elemental Expansion Pack levels. We've got the Sunscraper Spire and the Midnight Museum. So let's go check them out. All right, Portal Masters, when you get the new Elemental Expansion Pack, you actually get a Skylander and a brand new location. So let's see what happens when you put the Sunscraper Spire on the Treptanium Portal. Greetings, Portal Master. Something amazing has happened. The same colossal explosion that destroyed Cloudcracker Prison also fractured the very foundation of Skylands, exposing two new elements. One was pure light, and the other, utter darkness. Now, a mysterious crystalline tower has appeared crackling with the tremendous energy of elemental light. You must go immediately and investigate Sunscraper Spire. Now how about that? My teleportation device worked! You ought to admit, I had my doubts there. Great gears of fire! This place is crackling with light elemental energy! I've never seen anything like it! Looks like those energy pillars are generating a massive amount of power. Well, if we're supposed to be investigating, seems like those pillars are the place to start. Remember, Master Eon said this place could be dangerous, so be careful. I can't shake the feeling that we're being watched. All right, Portal Masters, we are now in Sunscraper Spire. And what better Skylander to use in there? The Nightlight, our very first light elemental trap master. We got mags here to help us try and find our way. This is a very, very unique area. You can see we've got all sorts of unique light based geometry and what looks to be these crazy stone knights. Let's see what happens when we go forward. Here I go! Skylanders of the air element are stronger in this. All right, we're in the first quarter island. So let's see what Nightlight can do. He's got this awesome light scimitar. Took, made quick work of those enemies. Oof, we gotta watch out for those spikes along the way now. Let's see what's up with mags. Hey, I bet you're wondering how I got here so fast and why I'm glowing. <laughs> Weird. Anyway, we better keep moving. Except, looks like we got a reflecting block totally out of position. But if you use some of that legendary Skylander strength of yours to push it into position, it will undoubtedly activate the force field bridge. <laughs> um, <clears throat> I think. How did Mags get over here so quick, and why is she glowing? Maybe that's something we'll find out. Be sure to always... Destroy as much as you can in each level to make sure you get enough loot for your Skylander. Let's see if we can rotate this light puzzle here. Alright, built a light bridge. We got more enemies to take out, including some new light Cyclopses. Those guys rotate pretty fast. Let's get them while they're dizzy. No shining the reds. You always got to watch out for the spikes to come out of these ground areas. You'll see them tell a little bit. You'll see a small tip peek out before then the spears go up. So always watch out. All right, let's see if we can take out these enemies. Ooh, that one seems to be throwing stuff. Let's see what we got here. Ooh, a bunch of treasure. 
Now we can either hop down to the right or go inside, so let's see what's going on down here. Ooh, some sort of evil creature. Illuminating. Level up. We gotta watch out for those late attacks from this guy. That's good, so that's the way to take him out. There we go. And an Earth Elemental Trap Master Gate. We're going to leave that to you, Portal Masters, so let's see what's inside the interior here. Whoa, this is different. This is the Crystal Underpass. Let's see, left or right? I'm going to go with the left. It looks like we passed a bit of Traptanium. I'm going to leave that for you, Portal Masters, to see what's inside. Skylanders of the Tech Element are stronger in this zone. Oh wow, it looks like that enemy can actually mount the beast that we saw before. Let's see if we can take them both out. Looks like I was able to knock the enemy off of the beast. Separating them is a very good strategy there. Make sure that they can't get you with twice the power. We always got to watch out for the ranged attacks. Looks like this guy can throw pretty quickly. Destroy the debris on the other side. Nice. It created a beam, giving us a bridge. To the first energy pillar. I bet if we redirected its energy towards the crystal spire in the middle, something wonderful will happen. Again, just a guess. Hmm. Looks like it's barricaded. That means we'll need a bomb like the one you just used. How very handy! So Mags seems to know a lot in this level, even though this is her first time here. It's very curious. All right, let's move on forward. Hot water toast with cinnamon on it. You got the first energy beam into position. Now it'll get redirected over to the crystal spire. And bingo! The first seal. Is unlocked. Yes. I mean, how would I know? It's not like I'm a scary monster trying to escape an ancient prison or anything. <laughs> Much. Right. So now you just need to do the same thing to the remaining three pillars, and we'll be in business. All right, Portal Masters. We've directed the first energy beam to the Sunscraper Spire. And something weird is going on with Mags. But we're going to leave that to you guys to find out. So now, let's hop over to the Midnight Museum. Alright, now we're back at Skylands Academy. I've got our brand new Dark Trap Master on the portal who comes with the Element Expansion Pack. This is Nightmare. She's a centaur with this awesome sword made of Dark Traptanium. But with that, we also get a new location. The Midnight Museum. So let's see what happens when we put this on the Traptanium portal. Greetings, Portal Master. Something amazing has happened. The same colossal explosion that destroyed Cloudcracker Prison also fractured the very foundation of Skylands, exposing two new elements. One was pure light, and the other, utter darkness. And now, the Midnight Museum has emerged, which holds the dangerous dark eye of unvisibility. But Nightshade, the sneakiest thief in Skylands, intends to take the eye and use its dark elemental power to steal, well, everything. Hurry and stop Nightshade before it's too late.
Don't worry, Skylander. I am three steps ahead of this nightshade guy. To catch a thief, you have to think like a thief. And to think like a thief, you must become a thief. Ooh, that gives me an awesome idea for my movie. Note to self, remember that awesome idea you had for a movie just now. Uh, yeah, so anyway, if you can get past security and retrieve that so-called dark eye of manana, you'd be doing Skylands a great deal of service. Good luck, compadre! So this is that security I was telling you about. I call them spy clopters. Maybe that's their official name too, I don't know. But uh, the point is, if they catch you in their spotlight, you're toast. They're not the good kind of toast either, so, you know, stay out of the light. All right, Portal Masters, we're now in the Midnight Museum. And as we saw in the cinematic, there's a new Doom Raider for us to try and stop and capture called Nightshade. It's the cold front with DJ Chill Bill. Bill, Bill. Ah, this is Troll Radio. All right, cool. We found a troll radio here. Now, I always love these things, and if you guys remember, in a previous level playthrough, we showed you the villain quest where Chill Bill actually becomes the radio DJ for K-Troll. If you guys haven't already, be sure to subscribe so that way you can check out all of the cool videos that we've made for you, including that villain quest video where you got to see Chill Bill. So let's make our way down the Midnight Museum. There's a lot of hidden paths here, a lot of different places to go. We saw that there's some spy cloppers over here. There's also an interior, as well as a secret area we can drop down. So let's explore a bit. See what we can find. Ooh, nice bounce pad. We also have a bit of tritanium. I wonder where that leads. You're probably just gonna have to find out when you play the level. I don't want to spoil it for you. Skylanders are the water so what's going on in this storeroom? Looks like we've got some Fuego Chompies. Great chance to show off the awesome abilities of Nightmare. It just seems like those Fuego Chompies were hanging out. And it looks like we have a character that we can play some Sky Stones with. Now, be sure to always come back here, and that way you can challenge that character to some Sky Stone Smash. But we've shown you that before in a previous level playthrough, so I'm going to skip ahead and see what else we can find in the Midnight Museum. You always got to watch out for the Spy Clopters, because if they catch you, they'll actually send you back to a different area. All right, so it looks like we can go in or drop down. Let's see what we got. So there's a lot of hidden areas in the Midnight Museum. You know, it being a pretty sneaky level, you can actually sneak around and find a whole bunch of really unique areas. How did I get in here without you seeing me walk past you? Secret Ninja Commando skills, remember? the name of the game in this place. <laughs> And you're gonna need all the ninja skills you can muster if you're gonna get past this crafty security contraption. And they've got this strange doohingus over here, so my guess is get the ball in the doohingus. All right, Portal Masters. This is a unique area, and this is something what we're gonna have to do is actually try and get this ball over here into this doohingus over here. So let's see what happens. So when I pull that down, you'll actually see it launches a bit there. So let's go over to the right and see if we can get up to the ball to get it down to that launcher. Always make sure to get your loot along the way. All right, so we've hit the ball. Let's roll it down to the launcher. Now this ball seems pretty heavy, so it's a good thing we have the launcher to help us out. 
because I don't think we'd be able to get it around that bend to get it into the doohangus. All right, let's give this a shot. All right, made it around the loop. Let's see if it'll roll into the doohangus. If not, we can always give it a little bit of help. But as I said, it feels pretty hefty. Yep, all in the doohangus. <laughs> Works every time. Now, I don't know if you portal masters are familiar with the game of pinball, but that's actually the inspiration for this type of puzzle, where you're launching a ball around a track, and you're actually trying to get a ball in a doohangus. Nightmare's got a really cool combo with her awesome sword there, as well as the ability to charge into enemies. So once these guys come down, let's charge, get up close, and then use that sword combo. A call to arms. All right, so I've defeated those enemies, and it looks like Tessa's here actually with a villain quest. But we're going to leave that to you, Portal Masters. And that is actually the end of our preview of the Midnight Museum. So thanks for joining me and my sweet adventuring shirt, Portal Masters, on this quick preview look of Sunscraper Spire and the Midnight Museum. Be sure to leave a comment below on what you think of these two new levels, the two new elements, and let us know what your favorite part of each of them are. And be sure to hit subscribe so you can check out the Skylanders Game YouTube channel and all of the awesome Skylanders-related goodness that we have on there. I'll see you later, Portal Masters.